There's a brother who used to be in a band called Love who was playing, I guess, at the Roxy at one point. And you were apparently at the show, and, and her parents brought her up to you when she was very small, and she said, Hi, Frank, in a real low voice. And you told them that, <laughs> that I know that's not a really a baby, it's a midget. <laughs> Maybe it was a midget. You can't tell. <laughs> well, anyway. There's so much disinformation going on these days. Who can tell? Maria's not a Republican, much. I hope not. No. no, but she's a great singer, so let's watch a video. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> the Greg Ullman band there. And uh, you are mentioning something that you, you didn't like. You liked the song, but you didn't like part in the video. Well, yeah, I don't like the hanging stuff at the end, I think. Yeah, I Children, was... do not try this at home. Yeah, it's not really uh, such an exciting thing. You can't really uh, hang yourself and, and not hurt yourself, you see. The, the feet dangling is sort of, it's a special effect. Don't try it at home, really, OK? Thank Unless you so you're much. a Republican, then try it every morning. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Closet Classics Weekend, you're seeing your favorite oldies, at least two oldies each hour all weekend long. To end our Closet Classics Weekend, we've got a film from the early days of rock and roll. It's Rock, 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 and features performances from Frankie Lyman and the Teenagers, Connie Francis, Chuck Berry, and much, much more. Please. You know, watch this because it's going to be so special. Plus appearances by actress Tuesday Weld and famed rock DJ Alan Freed. It all begins at 8.30 p.m. Eastern and 5.30 Pacific. So have you seen that film? I haven't seen it yet. No. You've never seen it? But, but we, uh, you, you know, did you know Frankie Lyman or you knew No, I just about knew it? that he is uh, deceased from a drug overdose. Mm. Don't Kids, do not try this at home. Yeah. Unless you're a Republican. <laughs> then, then you're free to do whatever you want, you know. Sort of a weird thing. You know, Sting, <laughs> Sting Closet Classic on the way. The band take you all across the United States. And basically, in this contest, if you go to any one of these stores and pick up an entry blank, you, you see these stores right here, you can basically win this thing. And what happens is you get to choose uh, a city anywhere in the world to go to and it's, it's going to be super exciting so go pick up your entry blank and then uh, well, what are some really good places I've suggested Bhopal India and uh, mm -hmm. some, well it depends on what you want you know yeah for like for teenage fun uh, well probably I don't know who who's really going to enter probably I would imagine some somebody around like 24 25 so no I think much younger than that. I think uh -huh. people you know 13 to 18 or younger and, <laughs> <laughs> I think that obviously the best place for them to go. Uh, hey, hello. Uh, yeah, hold, oh, hold on a second. Is it him? Uh, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, there you go. All right, I know you've gone into the prayer tower. <laughs> I know you're fasting until you either make your quota or they take you away. But I just wanted to say, before you got too excited about it, there is a contest here on MTV that would allow a person to go any place in the world to have a good time. And I'm going to recommend that if they win, that they join you in that prayer tower and get to not eat for a while until you either die or make the money. I think that would be a great way for any teenager in America to spend their spare time. Don't you, Oral? Oh, yeah, don't be too excited now. Well, good luck. And anybody who's watching this, if you want to send money to Oral Roberts, I recommend that you don't actually send it to some place where they might um, invest it in research and AIDS. Thank you so much, Oral. You know, very good stuff. I the man, I saw his son this morning, did I tell you? And he does look like Dracula, by the way. He does. Have you, ever seen, have you ever seen Oral Roberts' son? He's got the little Dracula thing in there. I watched him the other day. He had a chest cold. Really? Did you see it? No. He had all these people sitting around him on the sofas, and he started complaining about his chest cold and asked the other people in the room to help him heal his chest cold through faith. So they reached over, and they put their hands <laughs> on his chest, and they were saying literally this, Lord, rebuke this congestion. <laughs> yeah, they do that in traffic, too. It's clear to you know, all it's, the highways, right? Up. It's right. sort of a weird thing, but the, the other thing is, couldn't he just go to one of those little medical research centers that they got all over the place? Well, Comtrex or yeah. something. <laughs> you know, you know. Sudafed. Yeah, yeah. Rebuke this congestion. And while they're doing that, you know what he's doing? He's saying they're healing him, and he's healing people in the audience. He's saying, ah, there's a cataract in someone's left eye that just vanished. <laughs>
Uh, and only he knew, yeah. boy, but only if you knew. Concert info now for Eric Clapton with Robert Cray also as the opening act. And by the way, Phil Collins is playing drums with Eric Clapton, so why not go see the show? Yeah, right now he's living. <laughs> well, yeah, I, oh, I know I had some idea. Spit it out, boy. Right now he's in L.A. shooting a new movie called Couch Trip. Yeah, yeah, he plays a man who escapes from an institution and impersonates a Beverly Hills psychologist. His wife in real life, Donna Dixon, is also in the movie playing a receptionist. Couch Trip will be in movie theaters by Christmas. After touring all last year, Sybil Mines took a much-needed vacation, but the band is back to work, and we caught up with lead singer Jim Kerr last week in Los Angeles, and he told us what they're up to. The live album will include a version of Sun City and Sly Stone's Thank You for Letting Me Be Myself Again. Well, you know, George Michael is on the charts. <laughs> Ooh, there we go. <laughs> George Michael is on the charts with Aretha Franklin, and he's about to begin work on his first solo album. But uh, wait, George Michael is? And he's going to do his first solo album? Didn't he have one? Or was it just a solo single? No, he just had like an EP. Yeah. OK, so just a couple songs one now. Big job. Yeah, one of those big ones. OK. About like that. Now you want to get a lot of George? This is it. But <laughs> <laughs> what's become of Wham? The other half, Andrew Ridgely. This is the guy we're talking about. He spent most of the past six months racing cars in the south of France. But we caught up with him in Hollywood, where he told us there's music and movies in his future. I'm over here chasing. But what happened to the trumpet player that went berserk on that airliner from, the, from Wham? The trumpet player went berserk on the airliner in China. China. How come they never have any news about him? What's he doing? Is he in Couch Trip? Yeah, he probably. <laughs> he, uh, he was inspired. He, couch trip. <laughs> <laughs> he wrote it. Uh, I didn't hear about that. I'm, I'm, yeah, and they, they went, went to down. China, and, and the trumpet out. player went crazy on the flight. Attack somebody with a knife. Or something. Yeah. Is he the guy who's running around on the New York subways with the big machete? West no. You know? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, well, I'm thinking Maybe. of a different guy. Uh -huh. uh, super exciting things are on the way. We got uh, four in a row that we're going to kick off with Robbie Neville and Domino's. Oh boy, it's MTV and this is the Closet Classics Weekend. You got a Closet Classic from Eric Clapton, Tipper Gore's favorite Black Sabbath, and let's continue with four in a row with Bruce Hornsby. Walking down your street, that's the Bangles, and uh, it's their brand new video, basically. Is that, um, who's the guy who pulls up in the truck? I forget his name. Uh, you know, and he does the walking like Egyptian little thing. Is it? He's, he's an actor. Trivia quiz. <laughs> yeah, okay. Come on. <laughs> oh, well, let's, okay. uh, let's talk about something more yeah. exciting, like... Uh, about the trumpet player from Wham <laughs> that went hog wild on the Chinese airline. That's the guy who did our, our music news drum. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Shecky. Shecky. Uh, Shecky. He doubles on trumpet and drums. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's totally burning. But uh, I want to know about the soldiers of prayer. We're not talking about Striper. All right. We're talking well, about... For those of you, those teenagers watching this who are too busy to pay attention to religious television, take it from me, an old person who has the time to watch these guys, here's what you missed this week. <laughs> On the Richard Roberts show, featuring Dad, Oral Roberts, they had this guy from Texas on there who was trying to sell you a book, which is about this thick. It looks like a high school binder. And it's $40, and it tells you how to pray. And he claimed on the show that Jesus told him a year ago that it was his job to go out and locate 300,000 intercessors. Now, at this point, Oral Roberts says, prayer warriors. In other words, <clears throat> you spend $40, buy this book, learn how to pray, and you can become a prayer warrior. And the idea is that 300,000 people who are ignorant enough to send in $40 for this book will then follow its instructions and through prayer solve everything that's wrong in this country. Mm. Comforting. Uh, and now, the, how about the Beastie Boys contest? <laughs> yeah, let's, let's go right into that, <laughs> shall we? Uh, they're going to just uh, snatch your body right up and take you down to Daytona, give you $5,000, get you real drunk with a whole lot of beer, and then they're going to throw you in the Revenge of the Nerds Part 2, and details on how to enter are on the way. And, uh, you know, 
I, I find that pretty interesting. Those uh, yeah, the the prayer warriors. That would be a good uh, good cartoon if they could go up against the Transformers. You know? I think that'd be really good. Yeah, music by Striper. Yeah. Yeah, well, well, let's get in touch with him, shall we? We'll, we'll call him on call the phone. Him. You're yeah, going to call soon. him now or later? Uh, pretty soon. Uh, we'll, we'll get him on the phone. We'll be back. All right. Closet Classic from the Easy Beats on the way. They said it couldn't happen in America, 1987, your bedroom. They were wrong. MTV knows where you live, and we're telling the Beastie Boys. <laughs> Meet the Spring Break Body Snatchers from Daytona. Sometime when you least expect it, those bad boys will invade your privacy, grab your body, force you to board the Beastie Boy party jet, and fly to Florida. You won't have time to pack, so MTV will give you 5,000 bucks for a new toothbrush. Two for you, three for me. Go, Papa, come on. Then it's off to Daytona Beach oh, where you'll be part of MTV's live right spring break on. broadcast and possibly the police department's daily lineup. Plus, you will get a part in 20th Century Fox's new movie, Revenge of the Nerds 2, and movie star gear from Stridex. Send your name, age, address, phone number, and a mugshot to MTV's Body Snatcher Contest. Post Office Box 1211, Radio City Station, New York, New York, 10101. And give us your next of kin's phone number, too. We won't phone you. We won't warn you. You won't even know you won until we show up. You could be on the street. You could be at work. You could be in conference. You could be snatched by MTV. Them, and I hope they're going to call back they're because. Busy, though. Yeah, they're really. Maybe that's them now. Hold on just a second. <clears throat> Hello. Oh, yeah, put them through, put them through. You guys, it's Robert Sweet from, from Striper. I got him on the line. Pretty exciting. Hello, Robert. Hey, you know what? This is the Who does his pants? Who, who does your pants, by the way? Jose Ferrer? What? <laughs> Wait, that, that can't be right. You know, uh, I had this great idea. Actually, my father and I had this great idea to have you. Did you hear about this prayer warrior stuff? You must be up on all this stuff because, yeah, OK. Ask them so, if they know that uh, Jimmy Swagger has been saying bad things about him all last week on his show. Have you heard? Uh, could you get that? Hold on. I think it's. Yeah, here you go. That's, sorry. Hello? You know, uh, have you heard about Jimmy Swagger being. All right, uh, Jim, look, this has oh, wait, gone you know, too far. Other, you spent all other. last week <laughs> talking about a rock and Striper? roll band called Striper. They're only trying to make some yeah. money. After all, what other Who's group is going to go man? around on tour it's and really throw weird. little Bibles into the audience? And you have the nerve to stand there on your show and say that well, these people are not Christian? Look, I know you're all trying to make a profit, but give them a break. Give them a chance to make the same amount of money that you're making with the crap that you're selling on the air. What is this? Yeah, this is America. This is the free machete, enterprise system. They dress yeah. better than you do. OK, so you have those flunkies that sit around the table while you point to the thing with a pointer on the wall and try and give Bible lectures. Mm -hmm. But they have a right to rock, Jim. Yeah, you guys. I hope you understand what I'm telling you. I'm not going to tell you this again. That's it. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm so excited that uh, well, we cleared that up with Jimmy. And uh, as I was trying to uh, talk to you about before, I really would like it if you guys would write some music to this cartoon idea that I got with the, the prayer warriors. Prayer warriors fighting the Transformers. You guys, OK. They're going for it? It's sort of, oh, wait, here. Look, it's minutes. very, very difficult to make the amount of money that you want to make without music. going Tonight, into some, midnight, some kind Eastern, of syndication. I think that this cartoon idea by seven of the prayer warriors with music by your group could really be spectacular. I think that it'd be a... I catch you watching that all the time. I uh, know, because Striper's in it. Yeah, you know. <laughs> they look like some overgrown wasps to me, you know. It's just sort of a weird thing. Bumblebees, maybe. Bumblebees. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're a little bit too, uh, too wimpy. But I think that the lead singer has a very, really good voice. 
He does have he a, does a pretty good voice. He has a good voice. I think that the other musicians in the band are good. I think that their video looks great. The problem I have is the stuff they throw into the audience. I yeah. think that, you know, if you like the Bible, the idea of using it as a projectile during a concert <laughs> seems to be in bad taste. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wouldn't you rather have one of those green glow sticks thrown at your head? <laughs> uh, let's go into four in a row, but first this word from Snickers. Oh gosh, music news time. Peter Gabriel and Duran Duran will headline the Secret Policeman's Third Ball, a pair of London benefit shows for Amnesty International at the end of the month. That's when that's going to happen. Peter Gabriel will perform only one song, and he hopes to get Kate Bush to join in for Don't Give Up. That's their duet on his solo album. Also on the bill for brief solo sets will be Mark Knopfler of Dire Straits, Bob Geldof, Jackson Brown, <clears throat> and Lou Reed. Mm. Yeah, super exciting stuff. In the current film, Eric will take the role of Shelley opposite Philip Anglin in the role of Byron. It's ironic to note that both actors gained fame by playing deformed characters, such as uh, Rocky Dennis in Mask, that was Stoltz and Anglin, creating the role of the Elephant Man on Broadway. So, so basically, <laughs> when, you, when you see them, you know, they look a lot different because they're not really those characters. It's sort of yeah, they shed a little rubber, and there you go, they're normal. Yeah. <laughs> yes, and we weren't talking about a full body condom. We were talking about serious, you know, serious rubber. Yeah, serious rubber. Let's kick off four in a row with Crowded House. Don't dream, it's over. Somebody save me. That's Cinderella, Bon Jovi making a guest spot in there. But you know, let's talk about all the kind of fun stuff that we have for them on on tonight you know, on the channel. Shall we? Sure, go ahead. Okay. Because you're reading the teleprompter, I'm not. <laughs> oh, reading? No, we're not reading. It's all off okay. the top of my head. <laughs> well, what is going to happen tonight? <laughs> okay. Right. And our Closet Classics weekend, we've got a film from the early, <laughs> baby on board, from the early, well, the early days of rock and roll, basically. It's rock, 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 and it features performances from Frankie Lyman and the teenagers, Connie Francis, Chuck Berry, and more, plus appearances by actress Tuesday Weldon, famed rock DJ Ellen Freed. It all begins at 8.30 Eastern, 5.30 Pacific. The Sunday special tonight is another edition of The Tube, featuring performances from Paul McCartney, ZZ Top, Julian Culp, Pet Shop Boys, House Martins, isn't it? That's right, and others. 10 p.m. Eastern, 7 Pacific, and it's brought to you by the U.S. Army. Mm. Don't you find it uh, silly when, like, the U.S. Army <coughs> sometimes sponsors, like, the, the Saturday Night Concert, and uh, it just so happened to be, like, Ozzy Osbourne this past time? I don't think that that's silly, and I think that it's good that they do sponsor it. You know why? Because the people that should be in the Army are the people who want to be in the Army. Okay? True. So that's who you should advertise to. Uh -huh. If you want to be in the Army, you should be in the Army, and you have to let people know that they're, hey, in spite of what you read on uh, the newspapers, there's still an army. We still have one. Yeah. And you can join if you want. But if you don't want, you shouldn't go. <laughs> yeah, but you know, the, the Aussie fans have the long hair. It's the first thing to go. Well, maybe they want a special army. Yeah. <laughs> a prayer army. Yeah, right. Oh, that's prayer right. warriors who use these. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Let's go for this cream closet classic, shall we? Yes, I think you do. I'm Dweezil, and this is Christina. Sleep it off. You know, it's time for, for trivia question. Trumpet. <laughs> yeah, it's time for our trivia question that's sponsored by Dr. Pepper. Are you ready for this? What band's lead female singer